Welcome to Espresso. This is Ballistic Coffee Boy, your host. On this inaugural episode, I decided to feature a game that's very apt for this time of year, and it is uh, Tax Avoiders by American Video Game. This came out in 1982. According to the manual, the object of the game, the goal of the player is to become a millionaire after taxes in one year. As in real life, there are obstructions to your progress, bureaucratic levels to go through, and obstacles to overcome, such as governmental red tape, bad investments that lose money, taxes, and IRS audits. The characters in the game, there are two characters basically, you play John Q, the overtax player. The other player, according to the color of the character, becomes three different characters. The first is Eggy, the IRS agent. The second is Waggy, the CPA. And the third is Toodles, the investment advisor. These identities are all parts of the same character. Their movements are not controlled by the player. He is constantly pursuing John Q. John Q is controlled by the joystick and moves in all directions, left, right, up, and down. The fire button causes him to jump over or through adversaries. There are three symbols in the game. Uh, The first is the dollar sign, which stands for income. You must obtain the dollars to earn income. The second symbol is the red squiggly, that uh, stands for governmental red tape. Failure to avoid the red tape during the income screen costs you $2,000 each time. And finally, the third symbol is the portfolio, which is the briefcase icon on the second screen. You must put investments into your portfolio to shelter income and obtain any capital gain. And the general play, according to the manual, uh, the year is divided into uh, 365 days, 12 months, and 4 seasons. During each season, there are two screens, an income screen and an investment shelter screen. During the income screen, you must accumulate as much income as possible while avoiding the costly governmental red tape. To reach the various bureaucratic levels, you must catch the elevator in the center of the screen. This takes you to the various levels, slowly, like normal governmental action. So this game definitely, uh, it's really hard to play. The controls suck, as you might see here. Sometimes you crawl up the ladder and you're beside it and sometimes you can't go up the ladder unless you go to the right or left of it and uh, the game definitely needs some fine tuning but i do applaud american video game for trying something different here Uh, (laughs) we definitely don't have a game like this on the vcs uh where you're avoiding taxes um but yeah uh definitely just for the hardcore atari collector um, I think this is going for about $40 in a loose cart on eBay. I haven't seen a CIB copy of this in a long time. I think it was probably over $100 at the time. But definitely um, not a game I recommend to your average player. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think down below. And uh, are you avoiding your taxes right now? You naughty Atarian. Anyway, let me know down below what you think. Uh, this has been Tax Avoiders uh, for the Atari 2600. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Go pay your taxes.